Okay, so what are we saying in this video? So before using a retinoid and SPF consistently, not knowing it was going to delete my freckles. So basically she's saying that she didn't know before starting a retinol and using sunscreen that her freckles would go away. So is this even true? Right, and so there's a lot of layers to this, but the question is, what are freckles and is a retinoid and SPF, is it good enough just to delete these things? Right, so we gotta dive in a little bit on freckles and what they are, and we're gonna talk all about freckles and whether or not this video is actually true. Here we go. Here we go. So I have a sad freckle story. I've told this story a lot, but I'm not gonna go crazy on this, but I've talked about freckles on my TikTok. I had to delete the video in the past because it offended some people. I'm not gonna try to offend anybody today. I never try to offend anybody. It's just like unintentional. Sometimes if you make a thousand videos, one of the videos is gonna upset a large group of people that have freckles, apparently. So you're scrolling back. Freckles are like little tans on the skin, right? You are not born with freckles. You are not born with freckles. You are not born with freckles. I repeat that, right? You develop wrinkles, wrinkles. You develop freckles with age, usually when you're young, due to sun exposure. So people are prone to these, certain types of people, redheads more commonly, um, but all people, he has freckles as well. So basically due to sun exposure, you develop basically like little tans on the skin, which is why they do fade or get lighter in the winter. And then they get worse with sun exposure in the summer. So that's what freckles are, it's little pigment dots in the skin. And I'm gonna caveat in, there is like a very strong genetic component here. So that it's not that like every seven or eight year old who has freckles has spent an exorbitant amount of time in the sun, right? There's actually, there is a definite strong genetic component that makes them more prone to freckling with sun exposure where another person who has an equivalent or even more sun exposure might not. So that being said, right? Like if you have freckles, it doesn't mean that you are now at risk of wrinkles and, and skin cancer and, and all this. It's just, you're genetically predisposed to develop wrinkles in the sun. Um, so don't panic, but it is a marker of sun exposure. <laughs> that being said, I will will say that, right? So because like, if you were to never be exposed to the sun, you'd probably not develop wrinkles, right? So- Freckles, he said like wrinkles, wrinkles three or four times, right? but he's um, meant freckles. I've meant freckles every time that I said wrinkles. Freckles are due to sun exposure and genetics. Okay, knowing that, I will say that this video is accurate in a lot of the ways here that wearing sunscreen will lighten your freckles with time because it's gonna protect you from that sun exposure that is causing that pigment creation in the skin. Now, is it gonna completely eliminate them? No, but it will lighten them. It will lighten them and they won't get as dark in the summer months. Okay, so yeah, he's, ah, what's the word? I don't know. See, yeah, I agree, right? I think that freckles or affilities, is that how you say it? Affilities. Affilities is how you say it, affilities. So freckles or affilities will lighten. Uh, these are completely different from moles. These are completely different from other dark spots like sore lentigos or seborrheic keratoses. By using sun protection ahead of time, even using sun protection later, this will help lighten these. And there are studies showing that SPF not only prevents sun exposure, but it actually can help your body heal it and reverse it after it's already occurred. So yes, sunscreen will lighten them with time. Retinoids, same thing, because they do play a role, and we talked about this in our dark spots video, retinol specifically will inhibit tyrosinase, it will turn those skin cells over, it will inhibit the transfer of pigment into your melanosomes, and so this process of pigment creation is inhibited by retinols, and so retinol plus sunscreen will lighten your freckles. Now, some people that have freckles like their freckles, and then they don't want them to go away, right? So that's one of the issues that people have when they use these. But that being said, I think the trade-off can be worth it because it is a marker of sun damage. Right, so okay, sure. So it's a based off your preference. If you love your freckles, like, I mean, what are you gonna do? I would still recommend using SPF. I would probably still recommend using a retinoid if you're going for either photo aging or acne. I mean, those are just so foundational. They can lighten them. I'm gonna say it now, if you hate your freckles and you see this video, you are not, I think it's extremely Extremely unlikely that you're going to get the results that she got. I don't know if she's wearing a lot of makeup or or what, but going from having freckles like that to having a completely homogenous color pigment on your skin is very rare and I think unlikely for most people. Lindsay Lohan seems to have pulled it off, but I think there was more than retinoids and sunscreen there. Right, so there are other lightening treatments that can completely eliminate them. There are some um, lasers that can completely eliminate uh, your wrinkles, but to say that they would completely go away, you know, we know this for a fact because Dr. Maxfield wears sunscreen and retinol and he still has freckles. Yeah, so, but they're lighter because of the fact that he uses these. It's not gonna completely delete them in most people. 
significantly will lighten them. So be aware of that. If you're somebody who likes their freckles, I still suggest that you wear sunscreen, but just know that it can lighten those freckles for you. So overall, I would say that this video is mostly true. You may not see a dramatic result, nothing like deleting them from the skin, but significantly reduce them. Yeah, uh, I agree. I'm trying to think of like an analogy. It's like saying that pizza will mostly fill you up, but if you're me, it will never fill you up. So this could mostly help your sun damage, but it will never completely satisfy the sun damage on your skin. So I think that this is Dr. Maxfield justifying his poor sun protection, <laughs> <It's right? not laughs> Okay, look, look, maybe I should caveat this for those of you who are gonna follow us for decades here. I've said it before, I'm gonna look ancient compared to Dr. Shaw in 10 years because I've noticed this despite thick, thick sunscreen. If you've watched any of my surfing stuff, I layer it on thick. And I go surfing at sunrise almost exclusively where, you know, the sun's not even harsh. I still get and have a lot more photo aging just because I live life outside. So even sun protection is imperfect and not flawless. Again, like our sunscreens, uh, most of the time are not protecting against that visible light, which is contributing to your freckles um, because you're getting those that blue light that is contributing from the sun. So and heat. Right. So all these things play a role. So I wouldn't completely say that it's due to poor sun protection and you won't completely eliminate your wrinkles but but your freckles have gotten worse with time <laughs> or better i mean it depends on because i think freckles are cute okay. not not cute on him but cute in general i don't know how to respond to this anymore <laughs> it's just getting weird <laughs> Okay, thank you all so much for tuning in to our freckle video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video when Dr. Maxfield's freckles are darker due to poor sun protection. <laughs> okay, we appreciate you. Thank you for being a part of this.